पीस टीवी बांग्ला मानवता समाधान He created the universe to him belong the heavens and the earth the ever living he is the first he's the owner of mercy he sent his messengers to all his creatures of the great how do you find time to study because that is one of the most important things for your uh... previously i used to give lectures in the 90s and the early 2000s i used to spend a lot of time preparing for talks and you know the time when i used to spend hours together right. days together months right. together studying now with more experience unless i have to prepare new talk then i shut myself spend a few days and prepare it's not a day to day reading fine read the quran is there but the other things so now what has happened more of my knowledge is coming from meeting other people meeting other personalities it's more of a practical interaction right and my answers are evolving better and better with better logic right. with better reasoning right. because of traveling throughout the world so what time i have to spend in the books yeah. it has become less i do spend giving a new talk but the other interaction the traveling teaches a person a lot meeting great personalities meeting scholars right. meeting people of different faith right. the priests the pandits you know right. so that interaction so whatever i pick up during these interaction meeting specialists meeting experts right. that becomes part of my talk so there's a new flavor to my talk there's a change in the answers right. etc and that's more acceptable so this adds on this experience itself so do for example my wife always tells me that you know if you stop this administration then you can give more lectures now maybe i may be having 100 200 different lectures right but if i stop administration i can give maybe 1000 2000 lectures 10 times more i would prefer giving few lectures 10% of the lectures but each lecture is shown to 10000 times more number of people right So, giving a lecture and maybe a thousand audience. Now, after the satellite channel has started, we have more than hundred million viewers on Peace TV. Right. So, preferably give two hundred different topics. There will be more than a thousand lectures, right. but topics maybe hundred or two hundred. Right. But the people that are watching are in hundred million. Right. On the other hand, I can have given maybe a thousand different lectures. Right. Each time, thousand people. Right. The net result. Hundred million people watching hundred talks or two hundred talks is far superior right. than thousand people watching thousand talks. True, very true. So very with true. this, the spreading of message of truth, and message of peace, and message of Islam has spread more widely. Right. And I believe the blessing would be more, right. because if you do the thing you love, right. for sake of God, it is good. The thing you hate, you do it only for sake of God. You get multiple times more blessing. So though I love doing what I'm doing now, right. I'm not at all sad. I said I hate doing administration, right. but for the sake of God, because I'm doing it, I love it. Right. Right. I'm selflessly doing from God, and that is the reason I believe the success right. in my speech is because of the dedication towards Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. The thing I don't like, I'm doing for sake of God, and I love it. Right. I'm not saying that I don't want to do it. But given the option, I wouldn't like to do it. Right. I'm doing it for the sake of God, and I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it, right. and that's how God is helping, and that's how the voice is being heard to right. a larger number of audience and people. Right. How is your family, your own family, your wife, your children? How have they taken to your decision? Because you dedicate so much time. You are also a workaholic. You work till yes. very late at night. You uh, spend most of your time working on this. Yes. So how do they take to this? I mean, if you had—I'm sorry to just elaborate that question a bit—but if you had a normal career, let us say, even if you were a doctor, then by this time you could have said that, okay, I'm going to give just six hours a day, now seven hours a day, no more. It's yes. enough, because you know that, okay, fine. But here the responsibilities are so much; there is so much that is added up, and it's just growing bigger and bigger. So, how do they take to it? You know, people also always tell me that Zakir, now you're a bachelor. When you get married, we'll see. Right. How much time will you give? 
and uh, but natural i believe in being logical and i believe in the venn diagram so i chose a life partner who was also involved in spreading the message of islam right so i selected a life partner right that's my wife she was from pune right she was the president of one of the islamic organizations am i then i told that you know fine you marry me don't marry me because i'm a doctor don't marry me because right. i'm rich i promise you that i'll give you minimum not only right. minimum i'll give you 4000 rupees per month and she was a professor right. a teacher she was already earning much more than 4000 rupees right. i made it very clear right. before marrying her right. that i want to dedicate my life for the spread of message of truth right. so be prepared that don't go that because you know i'm rich or i'm a doctor etc and she too did not want to marry a doctor right. because she was in she didn't like a person you know so much engrossed in medicine and not giving right. time but she knowing that i was a die person who spread right. the message of right. islam and she was that's how we got married but the point to be noted is that when i got married my involvement with islam increased how we started a ladies week and if i used to give about 12 hours for islam right. after marriage i started giving 14 hours right but in that 14 hours maybe 4 hours was along with my wife so it's two in one right so if you say how much time i'm giving for islam is 14 hours other things sleeping maybe 6 hours 5 hours initially yeah. i'm talking about yeah. and then wife overlapping besides eating food it was for islam for us so what i gave time to my wife was maybe 4 hours plus additional 2 or 6 hours and plus the sleep separate so it was like a normal person giving but the venn diagram was the 4 hours overlap once you have children you see what happens right Absolutely. then surely it will increase so when we had children i started a school Islam International School, which is specialized in giving formal education as well as Islam education together. So my children also became part of my life, and even they got involved in the school. So fine. So being in the school, my wife sometimes saw them. My timing increased, maybe 14 hours to about 16 hours, 15 hours. This was about a few years back, and my children also got involved in Islam. My son as you may be aware or not aware I don't know that when we had the last conference in 2009 when we had called 30 best English speakers from throughout the world on Islam right from America we had more than 10 from Canada from UK from Malaysia from Saudi Arabia from UAE from South Africa different parts of the world the speaker that attracted the second largest audience after me was my son he was only 15 years old that's in November 2009 he attracted the second largest gathering and alhamdulillah he has become one of the youngest orators or not one of the he is the youngest orator that i know of at the age of 15 right giving talks for about 1 hour 1 hour 15 minutes quoting more than 100 verses from the quran and the bible right or veda right. etc so now there are times when i spend time training him right absolutely so when i train him to be a dai preach of islam i'm giving time for islam at the same time giving time to my son right my wife is spending time with the children training them right it's a venn diagram fine when we go out because my wife speaks and i speak previously one third of my trips i have to take my wife along right so it was an excursion right come a tour right which is spreading the message of truth right and people used to call me my wife also so both used to go so one third of my trips were involved along with my wife Right. and she has been to many countries she has given talks in usa canada uk right. singapore malaysia australia right. you name the country most of the countries that travel to now lately even my son travels with me and my children this last month we had gone to colombo and the largest gathering that i addressed outside india was in colombo a city which has very few muslims more than 50000 tonda so my son spoke first Right. and i spoke 50000 right in colombo in colombo which has a small percentage of muslims just maybe a couple of few lakhs and 50000 because amongst the audience there were many non muslims i see I then see. we went to maldives right for the largest gathering in maldives for islamic talk was 3000 the largest gathering was for the presidential election recently the 10000 right. for our talk 20000 people turned up so most of the places when we travel alhamdulillah the largest gathering 
anywhere in the world, whether it be, I'm talking about for Muslim talk, right. or in the Muslim country, the largest gathering that has ever gathered for any event, any event, any event right. whether it be Saudi Arabia, whether it be UAE, whether it be Kuwait, whether it be Oman, whether right. it be, so all these countries, the largest gathering, and the second largest is half or less than half. Same thing, largest gathering for Muslim in a non-Muslim country, whether it right. be in London, whether it be in UK, whether it be in Canada, whether it be in USA. So in this way, it's a Venn diagram. So in this way now, and I thought that as time is passing on, due to age. Right. Previously, I was young. Now also I'm young. <laughs> I was younger previously. Right. I thought that as time passing, when I reach 40, my time that will become less, not 12 hours, then it will be, you know, right. 8 hours. Now on average, I spend about 18 hours in the office. Right. 18 hours. And my wife always tells me, no, you're burning candles at both the end. My wife, and that's what Vinshek Ahmadi that told me. And my parents complained to him that, no, you, you tell this boy, <laughs> you know, he said, son, you should not burn candles at both the end. I used to always say that if I'm burning candles at both the end, but while burning myself, if I can light up more candles, right. even if extinguished, the work will continue. So the analogy I was giving to my wife. She says that, no, see, if you rest, and now on average, I sleep for three hours. Right. Previously, it was six hours, and five hours, then four. Now, in the past maybe three years, I'm sleeping on average three hours. Sometimes two hours, sometimes one hour, sometimes right. four hours, sometimes five hours, on average three hours. When I travel abroad, it is much less. Right. So she always argues saying that you're a doctor, you know you should sleep at least for, if not eight hours, at least six hours, and you right. can maybe work longer, you stay for longer, you live longer, and net result will be more work for the sake of God. Right. I always, being a debater, I thought, okay, hypothetically, I agree with you. I ask her that a normal human being at the age of 30, 40, right. he works for how many hours? Eight hours? Maximum is 10 hours. An average, yeah? not a workaholic. Right. An average human works for eight hours. Maximum average would be 10 hours, not more than that. Right. She says, yes. Yeah. And in the 10 hours, there may be lunch break, etc. So pure is nine hours maximum for average human being. Actually seven, but if you stretch it, maximum nine hours. Right. Now here, I spend on average 17 to 18 hours in a day. I don't take the weekly off. In our staff, we have weekly off. Plus two days every month paid off. I, on average, maybe taking one and a half days off. You know, I take my children out for four hours, I can come back. And get back to work. Get back to work. So on average, maximum, I may be taking off for maybe one, one and a half day in a month. So if I count the weekly holidays, which I work also, my average may come to 20 hours. Right. She said yes. Now, I'm doing this work for the past, I started at the age of about 25, the work of Islam. Right. I'm working on average double. Whether other Absolutely. work for nine hours, I'm going to double. Right. right. So in this span of 25 years, I'm now 44, 44 and a half, I'll be 45 very shortly. Dialogue. 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 Discussion. 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 Debate. 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 Rebuttal. 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 Conclusion. Conclusion. Eliminate misconceptions about religion. Get enlightened. Witness Dr. Zakir Naik in a battle of words. Dekhun. Shomuk Shamore. Proti Ryoshpoti Bar. Ratno Taib. Apuno Shamprochar. Shakal Chare Doshtai Bangladesh. Peace TV Banglai. नबीजी मुहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम एर मोनी मुक्ता अबू हुरैरा रादियल्लाहु अनहु बलिन अमीर रसूल सल्लल्लाहु अलैहि वसल्लम के बोलते सुने ची तेरी रमजानेर फजीलत बनना कुत्ती के बलिन जेबिती रमजान माशे ईमाने शाते निकीर आशाए रात्रि शालत आदाय कर दे तर पूर्वे शमुस्तो पाप ख्वामा कर दिया हवे सही बुखारी तृतीय खंडो तराबीर सलात उठाए हादिस शंका 2008 उसी उत्तम और थोड़ी उत्तम और थोड़ी सर्वोच्च किस्तो बानी जुनिती बानी जुनिती सॉटिक लेंदेन वही तो उपाय बोरोला 
ইসলামী অর্থনীতি কত সুন্দরভাবে নতুন যুগেতে সফলতা অর্জন করেছে জানার জন্য দেখুন ইসলামী অর্থনীতি পরবর্তী অনুষ্ঠান পিস টিভি বাংলায় completed what you could have completed by about 88. Oh, so good, yeah. <laughs> so I told my wife that if at the 25th of holiday advice, right. <laughs> now I'm 45, 20 years, I've worked for 40 years. Right. So actually now I'm 65 years old. Right. And when a person reaches 60, 65, it average becomes 6 hours, practical, 8 right. hours you work. So now actually I'm 65 years old. And if I'm 65 years old, I should sleep much longer. I should work six hours, and yet I'm working 20 hours, I'm triple. So initially from 25 to 45, I worked for double. I'm 65 years old. Right. Now I'm working for, I'm working triple. Right. So in the past, what I worked from 25 to 45, actually I'm now, I'm 65. Now every day I work, I'm working three days. Right. Who knows how long I'm going to live? But you've already made up your... I've already made up. Tomorrow I may step out, I may have accident, I may die. She said, don't talk like that. I said, possible. <laughs> no one knows how long I'm going to live. And my quality, God has given me the strength. Right. So what I'm doing now, you count that and the experience that why at this young age. Experience doesn't depend upon age. Experience depends upon how much time you spend in that work. So at the age of 45, I've got the experience of the age of 65. Right. And if you see the difference in my lectures when I spoke at the age of 25, right. 27, and now there's maturity. Right. Everything is the though yet I'm middle age. So I'm telling my wife, now every day I work is three days. Right. So very shortly, within the next five years, I will cross 15 years. So 65, 15 will be 80. So by the time I cross 50, I don't know how long I live. Right. So you tell me one thing, even after that, if I stop, right. God forbid, right. hopefully I'll continue till the last day of my life. Right. So yet, I have nine, who's going to live? Right. Right. So she's saying it is useless arguing with this Akir. Anything you say, right. he will prove I you wrong. Told. Then they say, that there's a verse in the Quran. My right. wife used to go to the Quran, and there was in the Quran, and she knows the only thing that can convince me is the Quran from the Quran. So she also being a dai, she tries the level best to convince me from the Quran. Right. And she used to go to the verse of the Quran and say that it is mentioned in the Quran, Almighty God says, that night has been made for you to rest. Right. So that means we are against the Quran. Right. But she knows that I'm a debater. So I go to the other verse of the Quran which says that blessed are those people. Those people are those who are at a high level who sacrifice their bed for the sake of Almighty God. Right. So that's another verse in the Quran. Right. Then talking about those people who do good works, right. who pray at night, you know, so, so then she knows, you know, it is difficult to convince this man. So, what, so the only way she knows that she can convince me is either quote the Quran or quote the Hadith, but whatever she quotes, even I've got other quotes also, mashallah. Right. So basically this is our life has evolved and we give time. And my children, I mean, I'm happy to say that I cannot say that, that I'm the best husband in the world, but minimum, what I always say, you cannot be best in everything, but what is minimum required in Islam? What time a husband should give to the wife, I give a little bit more than that. Right. right. Same thing, what is the duty of a father to the children? I cannot claim that I'm the best father in the world, right. but what is minimum required, I'm doing more than that. My children have traveled with me to many countries in the world, maybe 15, 20 countries, and very few children at this age, my daughter with the age of 11, Right. The other daughter of the maybe 13, 13 and a half, and my son 15 and a half. They've seen the world, right. they've traveled a lot, they've given time. I believe in quality time. Right. So when I spend time, I even guide them, not just fun and frolic. Right. Fine, they've enjoyed life. True. They've True. been to True. most of these True. top, we can say, Orlando and, right. and Disney, all, all, all. Right. they've seen the world. Right. So it's true. At the same time, when we travel, we learn a lot. Right. So that is the time we realize that, you know, we have interaction when we have you know, evening session, when we have dinner outside. Right. So in this way, I believe it should be a Venn diagram. Right. So giving time for the cause of right. God, right. at the same time giving time to the family and to the wife, including brothers and sisters, and even to my parents, all this is a Venn diagram. Right. So all the family members, not only my immediate family, my wife and my children, right. even my brothers, right. even my sisters, right. even their family, even my parents, right. all of them got so much involved. In so it's more of a package right. and all together. Right. And uh, we enjoy it. Right. When it comes to your son, sir, is it, do you think, don't you think it's a little young, uh, young for him to decide or has he not decided his course of uh, his future as yet when you're talking about him being a die? 
because he's just 15 do you think that at that age because you yourself at a much later age decided yes. after the first time i gave a talk i think was at the age of 27 right fine the first time he gave a talk I was at the age of 13 right no eight. initially at the age of 8 6 5 okay. 8 no right, a lot right, right. but the a major talk now what we realize is that uh, that's what I always ask people that when is the time you think about the future of your children right I have to ask you when is the earliest you should think about the future of your children right so some of the people reply yes you know when they pass school right you know so that is the time when you have to put them in college you have to think what they have to become stream their right. and I said are you sure some people say no no you know when he reaches his standard right some say no 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 when you want to put him in school so the earliest someone has told me is when you want to put your child in school. But I disagree with that. I feel the latest, not the earliest, the latest you have to think about the future of your child is when you choose a life partner. Well, when you choose a life partner, right. depending on what type of life partner you choose is the latest, not the earliest. You decide what should be your future of your children. Because the person who plans well in advance is the person who's planned the best. Right. When I talk about future, people don't think only as a profession. Right. It has a whole life. True. Profession life, is part of it. Kind of life. So if I want my son to be religious, I would take a religious wife. Right. I can't expect right. to have a person who's absolutely right. away from religion and then want my son to be religious. Right. Right. Fine. Mean in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mean hands of God. But yet, how we plan. Right. So your planning latest should be when you choose a life partner. Right. So you're asking, isn't 15 years too early? I feel it is already too late. Because when you bring up your child, it is the duty of the parents to instill the values in the right. child. If I don't instill, maybe he'll have bad friends. Right. He'll have wrong friends. He may think robbing is right. He may think, you know, right. flirting around is right. right. So I feel when you choose your life partner is the latest that you decide about the future of your child. So regarding my son, everything has been told to him. He is brought up in Islamic International School. And the school was mainly established to give a platform to the children 100 times better than what I got when I was a child. Right. With that intention, we started the school. There are more than 400 children studying the school, 435 right. in Bombay, a few hundred in Chennai. So if you could elaborate here a bit. What do you mean 100 times better than when you, what you got as a child? Because you came right. from a, I mean, you came from a well-to-do right. family, you went to, to a convent school, right. so why? See, when I say that if you see my life history right. before 1987, right. there was no indication in my life that I would be a speaker. Absolutely. There's no training per se. Right. It is basically only God's help. If you see my life history, I was a stammerer. The last I could have expected to do anything in the world was to give a speech. Right. There was no training, there was no objective. It was absolutely like a normal human being. Right. I joined the TN Medical College, Naira Hospital, to become a doctor. When I met Sheikh Dida, there was a turn. So now, if the people know, and if they're trained at a young age, right. what we do, we train from the age of four in junior KG public speaking. Our school is one of the unique schools mm -hmm. in the world that teaches a child from the age of four how to speak in front of large audiences. The youngest child in our school of less than four years, she gives talk in front of more than a thousand people. Right. A child who cannot read, right. cannot read, right. she is made to memorize speeches of eight to ten minutes with right. modulation, right. with confidence. Right. So all this is unheard of. Right. At the same time, we tell them about other religions, right. how to amalgamate, <laughs> how to mix, how to convey the message right. at a young age. So this is what they have been engrounded with, telling them the values of life. Fine, we were in a normal school, we went to a medical college where the situation and the atmosphere is one of the worst in any college. It is God who saved us, you know. So these children have a better atmosphere, have better training. I per se, I am not Hafiz al-Quran. I don't know Quran by heart. Right. People think I know, I don't right, know. Right, right, right. All my three children are Quran. Right. My daughter at the age of 10, she memorized the full Quran. Right. I would love to memorize the Quran. I am not Hafiz. People think I am. It appears to be, but I am not. So these children are far better than me. What? They have certain knowledge which even I don't have now. 
in school what they're taught. They may be having certain knowledge, even I don't know now. At that time, my Islamic knowledge compared to the children, not my son, any average child who is studying in 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th or 9th or 10th, not 100 times, maybe having a thousand times more knowledge of Islam than what I had when I was in school. Right. So that's what I say, that I will give them a platform, which is 100 times better than what I had. Right. Then it's up to them, up to their striving, up to Almighty God to see to them how they come up. Right. But I'm doing my job of giving them a platform 100 times better than what I had when I was a child. My children know Arabic as a language. I don't know. Right. I know besides English, Arabic is important. That is the language of the Quran. So my parents may not have thought it important. Now these people can speak Arabic fluently. Right. They can argue in Arabic. Right. They can give talks in Arabic. They are at a much better level. Even now, I don't know Arabic as a language today. He created the universe To him belong the heavens and the earth The ever-living, he is the first He's the owner of mercy He sent his messengers To warn his creatures Allah Al-Quran Karim Hidayatir Moor Shambhan Al-Quran Karim Tukhe Hidayat Nita Chai Lai Aapne Abushu Hidayat Pabe La Yantahi Bil Hasri Ma'apa Jodhi Al-Quran Tukhe Jara Hidayat Pae Chai Tadir Ke Adushu Hishabhi Grohan Koreen Ashun Al-Quran Tukhe Hidayat Laab Kora Jinnah Dekhu Namar Onushthan Islamir Buniyadi Shikha Shudu Matra Peace TV Bangalai जानून शेि मौलिक नीतिमाला जार माध्यमे दिनी विधान बोझा शोहज होए जाए इस्लामेर बुनियादी शिक्षा उतारो शाधरण उदाहरण काल रात दोष्टाए आपुनो शंप्रचार शकल छाड़े आठ टाए बांग्लादेशे पीस्टीवी बांग्लाए East TV presents What do you have to say about Learning the wise way What would you recommend us to take as career? After we pass our school, so what exactly we should do? What do you have to say about pursuing two fields together? Ideas brilliant Strategy sustained The best profession is a profession of a person who invites people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Avail the opportunity with Dr. Zakir. Depending upon what is your interest, but the main aim should be to spread the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To implement the convincing Islamic come educational formula to excel in your career. Dekhun, career guidance. Prati Rabibar, Raj Shad Shaktai, Aapuno Shamprachar, Shakal Shad Notai, Bangladesh, Peace TV, Banglai. देख मुस्लिम जीवन मूल भित्ती प्रति बृहस्पतिवार सन्ध्या साढ़े पांचटाए पुनः सम्प्रचार सकाल छटाएंगे पीस टी बांगल्ए